How are we, uh, Newcastle? Are you well? Yeah. Good, good. Uh, it's the start of the night. I think we can do a little bit better. Are you well? Yeah. That's very good. Uh, my name is Pete. Uh, I'm your first act. I'm, uh, I'm a single man. There we go. Drink that in, ladies. Um, <laughs> never said that before in my life. Thought this would be a good chance. I, um, very good. Give me a cheer if you are single. <laughs> just literally you on the front. This is going to seem so predatory if I just talk to you now. <laughs> So, anyways, um, I, I do apologise. What's your name? Let's go for a drink. I, um, I am. I'm a single man. Wow, that's good. Oh, so, I'm guessing the rest of you are in a relationship, yes? Yeah. <laughs> very, one man at the back, very proud to be in a relationship. <laughs> it took me eight years. I'm very proud now. Um, all right, good. Are you guys, you guys in a relationship? Oh, good. Is he romantic? Yeah. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Play art. Um, <laughs> what's he do that's romantic? Has he ever, has he ever sent you flowers? It's just all the cooking, so all the practical stuff. All right, okay, cool. Has he ever, like, run you a bath, anything like that? Has he done that? Sorry. Run you a bath? I'm <laughs> just not listening. Um, <laughs> has he ever run you a bath, anything like that? Maybe candles? All right, okay. Has he, uh, has he ever sent you a picture of his downstairs? <laughs> That's a definite yes as well. <laughs> well, mate, we'll take one at not a chance. I, um, I don't know where they've been. I, um... <laughs> I've got a friend who does this. I've got a friend who genuinely does this. He takes pictures down there. Um, I, I asked this at every gig, and I asked it recently in Nottingham. I went, oh, has anyone ever, you know, taken a picture down there? And a guy at the back just went, yeah, I, um, I used to send them to my wife when we were courting. I was like, oh, right, wow, courting? I would have been married, right? And he went, 25 years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was he sending them through the post, you know? <laughs> Click, she'll get that in a couple of days. Um, <laughs> second class, I'm not a fool. I, um... <laughs> There's a recession on, isn't there? I, um, <coughs> I am. I'm, I'm a single man. I, I'm, I'm not very good. I'm, I could never do that sort of thing, right? I'm not, I'm not that sort of way inclined. I'm not, I'm not very confident sexually, you know what I mean? I, uh, I broke up with my girlfriend about eight months ago, um, and I did that classic thing that you do maybe when you break up with someone. I went out on the rebound. Uh, I had a one-night stand. It was the worst experience of my life, bar none, Newcastle. I'll tell you about it now. Because even when I had a girlfriend, right, I was quite, you know, I wasn't very confident in the bedroom. We'd be there, me and my girlfriend, we'd be there sort of getting down to it, you know, sort of prepping the oven, as it were, and, uh, yeah, that's right, ladies, I've got the lingo, um, <laughs> and, uh, and she'd lean over to me, right, and she'd say the immortal words, and guys in the room, you'll all have heard these words, it's a proper showstopper, you're there in the bedroom getting down to it with your girlfriend, she leans over and she goes, ooh, this, uh, this isn't a great time of the month for me, this, it's, uh, it's not a great time of the month, and I just get really embarrassed and sort of go, why, have you not been paid? Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's not a child plan, is it, fellas? Let's be honest, right? <laughs> so, as you can imagine, a one-night stand for me is a terrible situation. This is made even worse by the fact I've got quite high blood pressure, right? Oh, yeah, you're just laughing at my health there. I, um, <laughs> I, I told my mate Dave I had high blood pressure. His genuine response was, why don't you just let some out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a car tyre, you know what I mean? I don't go to the doctors and he's like, oh, come here, let me find your valve, right? That's not how it works, is it, right? So this one night stand was happening. Right, we're on the bed and we're kissing. And because we're kissing, I'm getting a little bit excited. Because I'm getting excited, my high blood pressure starts kicking off, right? So it's going to dum to dum to dum to dum to dum. Now, she took her dress off, my blood pressure goes into another gear. It's going to dum to dum to dum to dum to dum. This is genuinely how bad it got, Newcastle. She took her bra off and I had a nosebleed. <laughs> It's like my face had prematurely ejaculated for me, you know? <laughs> oh, good lord, some breasts for Dunk. Um, <laughs> just hear my mum laughing at the back, that's nice. Um, <laughs> I do. I, I'm trying to get better at it, though. I'm trying to get better at the whole, you know, the whole girls thing. I'm not very good. What, one thing I've tried to do recently, I tried to lose weight. Um, I realised I had to lose weight. You know, there's, there's certain points in your life when you realise you have to change everything completely, right? Uh, my main reason, there were two reasons I realised I had to lose weight. Number one reason, I got out the shower one day, put a towel round me, and there was no towel to tuck it into, right? That's, <laughs> either you've got fat or you've started using a flannel, you know what I mean? That's, uh, <laughs> that's a terrible place to be. Um, the second reason, and the main reason I realised I had to lose weight, I used to be 18 stone, right? And I was fine with you being 18 stone, didn't care that I was 18 stone. I was totally cool with being 18 stone until I got bored one Wednesday afternoon and decided to Google which animals I weighed the same as, right? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I've got a lot of spare time. I, um, <laughs> in case you wondered about doing this, don't. It's the most demoralising thing you will ever do in your entire life, right? I couldn't... Basically, what happened was, I couldn't find an animal that weighed 18 stone. So I found one that weighed 9 stone and sort of went, oh, I'll tell all my friends I weigh twice as much as that. 
I then looked across, and the animal that, on average, I weighed twice as much as was a human. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to leave you now, because I don't have very long left. Um, just on stage, we've got ages left to live. I, uh, <laughs> folks, you've been absolutely lovely. This competition's been great. Um, you've got a smashing line-up ahead of you, so enjoy the rest of the evening. I'll be Pete Otway. Cheers. Good night. <laughs>